Hello, I am Dr. Sudha from Government Science College Autonomous, Bengaluru. In this session, let us get ourselves introduced to exact differential equations. What are exact differential equations? Let us first define them. A differential equation of the form m dx plus n dy equal to zero, where both m and n are functions of x and y, is said to be exact if the perfect differential du is equal to m dx plus n dy for some function u. Here u is also a function of variables x and y. Therefore, u of x comma y equal to c is its solution. Suppose the perfect differential du is equal to m dx plus n dy, then we say that u is equal to c is the solution of the given differential equation which is exact. Let us begin with the examples. Consider the differential equation 3x into xy minus 2 into dx plus xq plus 2y into dy equal to 0. Now we can express this equation as 3x square y dx. So here from the first term you get 3x square y dx. Here dx is here plus x cube dy, so x cube dy minus 6x dx. So from here we get minus 6x dx and plus 2y dy equal to zero. But the first term within the brackets is nothing but d of x cube y because when you differentiate x cube y, we get 3x square y dx plus x cube dy. And this 6x dx can be written as d of 3x square because when you differentiate 3x square, we get 6x dx. And this 2y dy can be written as d of y square equal to 0. So now we have expressed each term as a differential of some function. So you can combine all of them and write d of x cube y minus 3x square plus y square equal to 0. Therefore, the given differential equation can be expressed as du is equal to 0, where u is nothing but x cube y minus 3x square plus y square. And this is a function of x and y. Therefore, on integration, that is when you integrate du equal to zero, you get u is equal to c, that is nothing but x cube y minus three x square plus y square is equal to c, a constant. Therefore, this is the complete solution of the given differential equation. What are these exact differential equations? So let us state the necessary condition for a given differential equation to be exact. So the necessary and the sufficient condition for the differential equation m dx plus n dy equal to zero to be exact is dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x. So we know that dou m by dou y is nothing but the partial derivative of m with respect to y and dou n by dou x is the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Therefore, if these two are equal, then the given differential equation, which is in the form of m dx plus n dy equal to zero, is said to be exact. So if dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x, then the solution is given by integral m dx keeping y terms constant plus integral terms of n not containing x. So here we need to consider terms of n which are not containing x with respect to dy equal to c. So if the given differential equation m dx plus n dy equal to zero is exact, that is the partial derivative m y is equal to n x, then the solution is given by integral m dx 
where y is constant plus integral terms of n not containing x into dy equal to c. Let us see what is the working rule, that is how to find the solution of the given differential equation which is exact. Write the given differential equation in the form m dx plus n dy equal to zero. Next, verify the condition dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x. If dou m by dou y is equal to dou m by dou x, then the solution is given by integral m dx keeping y constant plus integral terms of n not containing x into dy equal to c. So let us solve some examples. Solve 4x plus 3y plus 1 into dx plus 3x plus 2y plus 1 into dy equal to 0. So the given equation is of the form m dx plus n dy equal to 0. Therefore, we can write what is m and n. So m is equal to 4x plus 3y plus 1 and n is equal to 3x plus 2y plus 1. Now we can find the partial derivatives of m with respect to y and n with respect to x. So dou m by dou y is equal to 3 because 4x becomes 0 with respect to y plus 3y with respect to y gives us 3 plus 1 which is a constant gives us 0. Similarly dou n by dou x is equal to 3 because 3x on differentiation with respect to x gives us 3 plus 2y is a constant it becomes 0 plus 1 is also a constant with respect to x therefore it becomes 0. So dou m by dou y is equal to 3 and dou n by dou x is also equal to 3. Therefore the given equation is exact. Now let us find the solution. So the solution is given by integral y m dx keeping y constant plus terms of n not containing x into dy is equal to c. So substitute for m that is mx plus 3y plus 1 into dx and the terms containing y alone that is 2y plus 1. 3x is removed here because it is the term containing x. Now we know how to differentiate this with respect to x. So 4x becomes 4 into x square by 2 plus 3y is a constant. Retain that as it is into 1 dx that gives us x plus integral 1 dx gives us x. Come to the second integral 2y on, on integrating with respect to y gives us 2 into y square by 2 plus integral 1 dy gives us y and that is equal to c. Here on simplification we get 2x square plus 3xy plus x plus y square plus y equal to 0 and this is the solution to the given exact differential equation. Consider one more example. Solve dy by dx plus y cos x plus sin y plus y divided by sin x plus x cos y plus x equal to 0. Let us bring this to the standard form that is m dx plus n dy equal to 0. So the given equation can be written as cross multiply this. So you are going to get y cos x plus sin y plus y into dx plus sin x plus x cos y plus x into dy equal to 0. So this is in the form of m dx plus n dy equal to 0. So m is y cos x plus sin y plus y and n is equal to sin x plus x cos y plus x. Let us find the partial derivatives dou m by dou y. Differentiate m with respect to y. So here you have y into cos x. Keep cos x as it is and differentiate y you get 1. So cos x into 1 gives us cos x plus sin y on differentiation gives us cos y plus y gives us plus 1. Similarly n is equal to sin x plus x cos y plus x. Let us differentiate this with respect to x. Sin x on differentiation gives us cos x 
x gives us 1 into cos y. So 1 into cos y is cos y plus x that is equal to 1. So compare the partial derivative dou m by dou y with dou n by dou x. Both are one and the same. Cos x plus cos y plus 1. Here cos x plus cos y plus 1. Therefore, dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x. Therefore, this implies that the given equation is exact. Since the given equation is exact, the solution is given by integral m dx keeping y constant and integral terms of n not containing x into dy and that is equal to c. So terms not containing x in n are none because here you have sin x, here you have x cos y plus x. All the three terms contain x. Therefore, the second integral becomes zero. Therefore, the solution is given by, this is the formula for finding the solution to the exact differential equation. Now, since there are no terms containing, not containing x, therefore there will be no second integral. We have only the first integral, that is integral m dx, that is m is y cos x plus sine y plus y into dx. We need to keep y constant and that is equal to c. So let us integrate this with respect to x now, keeping y constant. So y is retained as it is. Cos x on integration gives us sin x plus sin y is a constant. So 1 dx gives us x plus y is a constant. 1 dx gives us x. So x into y equal to c. So y sin x plus x sin y plus xy equal to c is the solution to the given differential equation. Let us look into one more example wherein we have exponential terms. Solve 1 plus e to the power of x by y dx plus 1 minus x by y into e to the power of x by y dy equal to 0. So the given equation is of the form m dx plus n dy equal to 0. So let us write down what is m and n. So m is 1 plus e to the power of x by y and n is equal to 1 minus x by y into e to the power of x by y. Now let us find the partial derivatives of m with respect to y and n with respect to x. So dou m by dou y, that is we need to keep x constant and differentiate with respect to y. So here 1 becomes 0 because it is a constant e to the power of x by y gives us e to the power of x by y but we need to differentiate the power that is x by y keeping x constant so retain x as it is you differentiate 1 by y that gives us minus 1 by y square so we get e to the power of x by y into minus x by y square and dou m by dou x that is we need to differentiate n with respect to x so here in n we have two terms that is 1 minus x by y the first term and the second term is e to the power of x by y so product of two terms use product rule of differentiation so first term that is 1 minus x by y into the derivative of the second term that is e to the power of x by y gives us e to the power of x by y into derivative of x by y with respect to x so 1 by y is kept as constant so x gives us on differentiation 1 so you get 1 by y so this is keeping first term as it is and differentiating the second term now plus the second term e to the power of x by y into the derivative of the first term that is 1 minus x by y with respect to x. So 1 becomes 0 minus x by y gives us minus 1 by y. So on simplification that is let us remove e to the power of x by y common throughout. So we get e to the power of x by y into 1 by y minus x by y square minus 1 by y. So these two first terms are obtained by multiplying 1 by y with 
1 minus x by y. So now here plus 1 by y and minus 1 by y gets cancelled and we get minus x by y square into e to the power of x by y. So compare the partial derivatives do m by do y and do n by do x. Both are similar. That is both are equal. Do m by do y is equal to do n by do x. Therefore the given equation is exact. Now let us find the solution to the exact equation now. So the solution is given by integral m dx keeping y constant plus integral terms of n not containing x into dy equal to c. But there are no terms of n which do not contain x. Therefore, we have only integral m dx keeping y constant equal to c. So m is 1 plus e to the power of x by y. So let us integrate this keeping y constant. So we are going to get 1 dx gives us x e to the power of x by y is e to the power of x by y but the coefficient of x is 1 by y so divided by 1 by y is equal to c. So now we can bring this y to the numerator so we get x plus y into e to the power of x by y equal to c and this is the solution to the given differential equation. Thank you.